won't stop rubbing everything in my face. My 13 year old, she's vindictive, manipulative. She is a liar, a thief, just downright nasty. <sighs> Boy, those words are hard to say about your own child. Ava, this is heartbreaking. You wouldn't understand. We do understand. No, I don't understand don't. that you lied. No, I don't. I surely was not prepared for distance learning. There is no point to me of online school. There is a point. No, there isn't. <laughs> there is no reward. Her behaviors has affected everyone. Stay out of my life. She says openly how much she hates my son. Her actions really make me miserable. She has pushed me to the point of thinking about taking my son and just leaving. Well, Deidre, you live just a half a mile away from a neighboring school district where schools were open and kids were doing just fine. They were actually going to class, right? Yes, sir. But she felt really isolated. Very much so, she did. And remote learning did not work for her? Oh, no, it definitely did not work for her. Sixth grade is the beginning of middle school. Right. So, um, you know, obviously with distance learning, we're on the computer and most kids had their um, cameras off, so she just was so disconnected. Your husband, Jerry, is, is joining us virtually, and, and thank you for joining us as well. Jerry, you watched this unfolding, and when a child gets frustrated and can't master what's put in front of them and is not getting rewards from it, not having success experiences, uh, it just got worse, and it got worse for her. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And the hardest thing as a parent is to watch your child struggle and not have the tools or, or anything to calm them down or, or to, to take that pain away that's so obvious. It's, um, it's just, it's, it's a struggle. Let me tell you, you guys didn't invent this problem. This was happening in homes across the country over and over and over again. It was a nightmare. I yes. mean, it just, it didn't work. Now, Simone, the pandemic struck just as you were entering your final two years of high school, correct? Yes. What was the impact? What was the feeling of that? So for me, I'm a student athlete, so I've played basketball my entire life, and I really leaned on that to support me through college because I knew my parents weren't gonna be financially able to do that. So I knew that basketball was gonna be my key to getting in. But with the pandemic, I was shut down completely from that. So I knew I had to focus on academics and to get me to college. But my teachers were just really focused on trying to understand Zoom and online learning. So they didn't really have enough time to prepare us and teach us everything that we needed to know, especially going into college. So with that, uh, my Senior year, I was very, very ill-prepared. I did not know that I had to make two different applications for my college and for the dorms, so I only applied just for the school. And now I am in college, have no dorms, and I go to school in L.A., and I live in the Bay Area, so it's very, very hard for me. Yeah. Did this have to happen? The way that we could have avoided this is if at the local level where education happens, if we could have had a plan. We have plans for active shooters, but we don't have plans for what to do when we can't go to school for a long period of time. They shut the schools down for two years, mm -hmm. and when they shut them down, did they have a plan to open them back up? No. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.